play together. All right, make the easy play. Help each other out on GBs and go fast. Let's go. Let's go, do go, it, go. boys. Let's go. Howard Community College taking on the United States Military Academy Preparatory School, otherwise known as Army Prep. This is the first meeting between these teams since 2014, which was Eric Faust's first season as head coach of Howard. Back in 2014, Army Prep beat Howard 13-4. Dragons have since developed into a serious contender for the NJCAA National Championship year in and year out. Howard's earned three consecutive trips to the Final Four, returning 14 sophomores from last year's team, adding three sophomore transfers as well. Army Prep has won the last four meetings in this series, dating back to 2010. Dragons last defeated Army Prep in 2009, back when Mike Jones was head coach of Howard. Thank you to Fanlax.com, our source for this series history. Army Prep has been known to give the best JUCO teams problems, including a notable win over Nassau in 2018. Dragons plan on playing two goalies, Evan Hawk with the save. However, rebound gets away from him. Come on, D. Mitch McEntee, nice move to the middle. High to low shot, gives Army Prep the lead. Army Prep's offense getting the better of Howard's defense in the first quarter. Once again, Army Prep gets to the middle, hands free. Nicely executed bounce shot. Three to one lead for Army Prep. 22 in white, Jeremy Sforzo. Earned NJCAA first team All-American recognition as a freshman. Back at Howard for his sophomore season. Wins a hard-fought ground ball, beating out two Army Prep defenders. Retains possession for Howard. Army Prep would be hit with a holding penalty in this same possession. Second quarter now, Mikey Welsh transfer from D3 Washington College showing what he can do around the crease. Army Prep doesn't pay too much attention to Welsh on this play, and you're not gonna see many goalies make a save in this situation. Credit to Welsh for taking what the defense gave him. Ensuing faceoff won by Brendan Cherney and Clayton Finley-Pons. Dominant day at the faceoff X for Howard. Sophomore Jackson Krasny, a clutch big game performer for Howard in 2019, scored four goals against Nassau in the Final Four a year ago, including a potential game winner with less than a minute left in that game. Back in Columbia, making plays in 2020. Krasny ties it up. But Army Prep responds by making stops on defense and countering with two unanswered goals. Evan Hawk, seven saves in his 30 minutes in goal, puts himself in position to make the stop. Strong first half from Army Prep on both sides of the ball, making the Dragons offense uncomfortable on this possession, leads to a turnover. Six in gray, Eamon Murphy, looking to make a play on this unsettled situation. Gets a picture-perfect angle, goes for the bounce shot, but Evan Hawk finds a way to keep it out. Third quarter, two-goal lead for Army Prep. Failed clear, Jeremy Sforzo makes him pay. <laughs> Howard's defense steps up. Sean McGrady slides. Pressure leads to a turnover. Jason McElroy, named first team All-American last season, secures it for Howard. Extra man opportunity for the Dragons. Jack Watzik, committed to Division I Detroit Mercy. Beautiful skip pass to Krasny. Goes high and ties the game. Watsik, what a pass. Krasny places it high. Dragons looking good. 
Daniello Parkinson from Roosevelt, New York. Gets the defense moving. Goes to Welsh. Mikey Welsh sticks it inside the far post. Gives Howard the lead. Ensuing faceoff, Army Prep gives it away. 33 and white, Leo Dunlap. Heads up play, running downhill in the middle of the field. High to low. Momentum shifting play from the long stick midi out of Omaha, Nebraska. Dragons have scored four unanswered. We mentioned earlier the Dragons going with a two goalie system. Sophomore Tim Russell answers the bell in the second half. Yet to allow a goal. How about this doorstep stop from Russell? Army Prep has numbers. Dragons on the ropes. Another save for Tim Russell. Finds Christian Casada in transition. Howard thriving on the run in unsettled situations. Four goal performance for Mikey Welsh. All started with the save from Russell. Tough save, high release to a low location, but Russell made the play and secured the rebound. Leading to the Mikey Welsh finish, finds the opening, two goal swing in Howard's favor. Three saves and only one goal allowed by Tim Russell, sees it all the way and denies Cole Biggins. Frustration setting in for Army Prep. Five penalties called against Army Prep in the third quarter. Dragons are man up. Jack Watzik finds a home for the bouncer. All Howard in the third quarter. Dragons score six goals in the third while shutting out Army Prep to take control of the game. Fourth quarter, nice awareness from Sforzo. Sees sophomore Joe Bevel running free. One goal, two assist performance from Jeremy Sforzo. Howard's defense allowed only one goal in the second half. Nine and white freshman Deshaun Hebron stops the ball. 15 and white Andrew Burns, another freshman, knocks it loose. And Tim Russell gets into the mix as well. Howard beats Army Prep for the first time since 2009. Dragons outscore Army Prep 11 to one in the second half. Improve to one and zero. I'm pleased. I'm, I'm happy. I mean, Army Prep is is a very good team, um, very well coached, and uh, it was it was a lot of fun. How happy are you with the new team? All the new faces, but a lot of returners. I'm happy. You know, I think you're 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 used to this, where we have a big turnover every year. It's almost like a brand new team every season. So. Um, you know, it's exciting for me to see all the guys that I've recruited and guys that have um, transferred in, to see them come together and, and, and play together and, and um, you know, work together. And so that's the most exciting part for me, yeah. Uh, we was losing at the first quarter, but we come back and we showed our game today. So everybody did a great job and I'm happy to win this game. You're involved with the transition, and that seemed to be a real strong point for Howard today. What was the key to doing so well in transition? Um, getting into our clear and just knowing where to be at the right time, the right place. Um, getting the ball in and out fast, quick. That's what Coach always uh, preaches, being fast on our feet, quick, fast, get in and out. We're more of like a transition type of team, so he wants us to push the ball once we get it. I haven't had a chance to ask you about this yet, but I wanted to go back to last year, the end of last year, the Nassau loss. Such a spirited game, but you all suffered. Nassau had a great comeback and unfortunately ended your season. Did that provide anything extra and motivation for this year? Most definitely that. For, our, for us sophomores and returners, that was the last game we had played against a regular season opponent. So, I mean, I've had a sour taste in my mouth ever since that game, and, and I can attest that most of the sophomores are the same way. Um, so that's always in the back of our minds, you know, we know what it takes to, to really be a championship team and, and it's going to come down to, to whether we do that in between the lines, getting ground balls and, and making fundamental passes, you know, no unforced turnovers, which I think we did a really good job of today. You know, we had a couple, but we really minimized that and most definitely, you know, big losses against Onondaga, Nassau twice last year and, and Hartford have all 
you know, been in the back of my mind ever since that day in May. So that definitely fuels us, and and that's a that's a big reason why a lot of us came back for a second year because we we've got something to prove. We've got a chip on our shoulder. Um, even coming out in the preseason rankings, you know, rankings don't matter, but but they've got Genesee at the second spot, and we beat Genesee twice last year. So we're really, you know, taking it with a chip on our shoulder. We got to earn everything. So that's really how we're taking it.